afternoon folks big Bo here with another great retro rv review from parkway rv center i bought this one uh, here i don't know about a week and a half ago and i wanted to share it with y'all uh, very nice and clean 1996 fleetwood bounder 35u that we've got for sale guys clean unit just drove up here 600 miles it did a great job um, 77,000 miles is on the Ford chassis. Got that pretty much bulletproof 7.5 460 V8 with the optional Banks power package, which means it's got a little bit meatier sounding exhaust. It's got a little bit more horsepower and gets you probably a mile a gallon better. Not, not a lot of difference, but when they bought this new, whoever put that Banks on, they probably spent four or $5,000 to get that stuff put on. So that's money you don't have to spend. And guys, this is for a 1996, this thing really is in nice condition. The inside has been slightly remodeled, and I'll show you that when we go inside. But in my opinion, it's been done very tastefully. Looking on the outside, this side looks great. The striping and finish got a full pass-through storage. It's a power platform exclusively by Fleetwood. Um, Good-looking tires, Firestones, great, great choice, one of my favorites. Um, you've got the looks like the extended valves for the inside tires Looks like you may need a canvas on the window awning You've got a metal guard on the patio awning Got a power step got a hitch on the back Now I'm gonna look around it guys and kind of show you the good and the bad it is 24 years old But it is priced accordingly guys uh, for the condition You know on the outside the back bumper you know, you can probably cover it up with a with a rattle can or if you just want to strip it down and repaint it, um, you know, however you want to do on that or leave it like it is. Got a few little crow's free feet on the back stripes. That means they probably had it under cover with the, with the back of it exposed more to the sun. The roof looks great. It looks all freshly sealed. I mean, the roof looks just like you want to see a Fleetwood roof to look like. Looking on this side, guys, again, looks great. It's got a great shine and finish to it. It's got a 5500 Onan Marquee Gold Generator running right now. Y'all pardon me, they're doing some construction work next door. Um, nothing really to be concerned about, but I do see, I mean, Mickey Mouse little spots of delamination. And, and guys, this is completely normal. And actually above average condition for a 96 model so and I don't know if you can see it on the video but I want you to be aware of it because guys this is a 24 year old motorhome but it's a nice 24 year old motorhome generator looks great front end windshield looks great beeping to get you right there let's look inside guys like this has some minor modifications nothing real bad you know the 35u has got some nice benefits this is one of my favorite floor plans back in the mid 90s because it was different and you can see they've added some backsplash and they've painted some of the panels in here but this is what's cool guys it's got the forward facing sofa now originally this thing would have come with a sectional sofa but this actually makes a bigger bed this is actually a full clean pull out sleeper sofa that you wouldn't have gotten with the original sofa and you got that little extra table right there that's removable little chair right here big windows so you can really see the outside up here in the front cab guys very very cool the dash air is ice cold now guys i own a 2008 winnebago and my dash air hasn't worked in years and of course i really don't use the dash air enough to to pay the money to fix it but the fact that somebody actually has kept the dash air blowing cold on a 96 model it's a sign that they have taken really really good care of it guys and the dash looks good it's got that padded vinyl dash so if they ever had pets in here you would see pick marks and claw marks there's none of that of course it may look kind of funny on my uh, camera because it's the old style crt monitor 
but I can promise you in person that camera works great I know you see that black line but it is not there in person that's just because of a different refresh rate between the monitor and my camera HD camera flex steel captain's chairs both in immaculate condition 77,090 miles not a check engine light brake light ABS light or nothing it's got hydraulic leveling jacks uh, which is a which was an option 77,090 miles and 774 hours on the generator so a lot of lucky sevens in there guys uh, of course I know this is obsolete but it's got a, a CB radio which nobody uses these anymore but if you're in a caravan or something like that of course and of course y'all may have noticed I've got my my gloves on <laughs> just be better safe than sorry um, being I'm a type 1 diabetic kind of puts me at a high risk so I'm um, always go through these things and disinfect them with some Lysol and wear gloves when I'm shooting them so and like I said I may be being over cautious but better safe than sorry you know you got a place for a TV it originally came with a CR TV so what you can do to make this look right is you can actually make a panel and this is what I would do make a panel for the front cover it with vinyl like a tan vinyl that kind of matches the wood in here and you've got a great base to put a flat screen TV with a fixed mount just don't get it so wide that you can't open these drawer these cabinets right here and there's your books and manuals too guys and a 96 model books and manuals is very very rare that's probably worth a little something too so I don't know how big you could go in here but I'm going to guess maybe a 28 to 32 inch TV if you wanted that and you can see all the original etched glass cabinets from 1996 that look great um, got ducted air and you can see it's uh, it's blowing out in the 40s and it's about 85 degrees and we're no shade we're directly in the Sun and it's got a good fan flow it's got two, uh, front and rear units nice leather sofa no flaking nothing like that You've got the uh, angled kitchen right here, six cubic foot refrigerator, freezer, it's clean. Now I haven't had this on very long, but it was 69 degrees earlier in here when I first turned it on and it's dropped to 65. So it's working guys, in fact I'll let it run while I shoot this video and when I get done with the video. We'll see if it's dropped. As for many of you know, RV refrigerators take several hours to get to operating temp, and I've only had that on about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. So it'll get colder in the freezer first before it trickles down the refrigerator. Freezer, a couple hours will be operating temp. Refrigerator, because the, the way the fins on the back work, it trickles down the cold to the fridge, and it takes it a little bit longer. It takes it six, seven hours for the refrigerator to get to operating temp. But if you know the freezer is getting cold, then 99% of the time the rest of the fridge is going to get cold like it's supposed to. Uh, nice countertops, nothing swollen. Like I said, they've added um, so a decorative backsplash, kind of modernize it a little bit. Original microwave from 1996, stovetop, oven. We did put new carpet in here, guys. And that obviously it had the original, it needed it. Wasn't that all that bad, but it was needing. It was, it was, you know, after 24 years, it has some wear on it. So definitely, we put new carpet in it. That's several hundred dollars you don't have to spend. Um, table and chairs. It does have a leaf in the closet for it. Um, overhead storage. And guys, if you're playing cards with somebody at this table, don't sit there. Whatever you do with that mirror back there. <laughs> Trust me, I learned that from experience. <laughs> anyway guys you got a walk through bathroom original linoleum looks great got the uh, RV toilet overhead cabinet last in shower and this is this is a sign that this thing has been kept under cover most of its life because most 96's this plastic starts yellowing from the skylight and the fact that it's all still bright white means they and of course you can tell that from the outside too because the stripes the finish except for the back 
is all in great shape. So this unit has been stored under cover, under a shed most of its life. At least all the signs tell me that. I don't know that 100% for sure, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Uh, of course, I love these old RVs, guys. This is my favorite type of RV to shoot. And I'm actually getting a pretty good little collection of retro RVs for sale. And, of course, many of you know, uh, one of the things my family does is we restore older RVs than this. We restore the 70s and the 60s RVs. But, of course, you know, another 10, 15 years, we'll probably be restoring motorhomes like this. <laughs> I like the fact it's still got the original... Uh, bamboo shade or not the bamboo shades, but the cloth pleated shades that they put in them. They still work uh, You do have a little TV up here Queen Island bed Nightstands Old magazine rack solid sliding door for privacy so you can separate the bedroom from the rest of the RV And guys, this motorhome cranks right up. The generator fires right up. The air conditioner comes on. It gets cold really, really quickly. Um, refrigerator, which we'll, 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 we'll shoot it here again in a minute see what it gets down to. Um, this is a great motorhome, especially for a first-time RV shopper who... Uh, you know, wants something affordable something that's going to be worth this for the next few years if you keep it in this condition and guys don't get me wrong I, i've looked up 96 bounder on rv trader and their prices are all over the place they're anywhere from the lowest price one i found was nine thousand dollars and it was pretty rough and i found them up to twenty two thousand dollars for this exact same year making model so i've got it priced very competitively because i have a feeling that mine is just as good a condition as those that are ten thousand dollars more and of course guys you know anything this age and this price we are selling as is that's why i'm trying to show you as much stuff works as possible because uh the 12 9 price does not include a checkout it's you know we'll crank the generator up let you turn everything on inspect it yourself test drive it before deciding if you want to buy it or not so um you know 96 model i don't have the markup uh, and my guys are slamming. You would think, and I'm being very honest, guys, with all this going on, you would think our business um, would slow down. And a lot of ways it has. We don't have as much lot traffic, but we do most of our sales over the Internet and the phone anyway. Uh, that's why I do these videos. That's why I'm the only dealer that actually does 360-degree virtual photos of used RVs and not using stock photos, which you wouldn't have stock 360 tours from 96 anyway. I'm the only dealer that does that, and you can see, and I got a link in the video description below so you can see uh, the 360 degree photos, which shows this RV from literally every angle. And, um, you know, that adds a level of transparency to it. I never, and that's why I try to show you the good and the bad. These are used guys. I mean, this is a well above average for a 96 as far as condition, but, you know, it is used. It's not going to be perfect, and uh, please don't come up here expecting a perfect. Even if this was a 2018 model used 18, it wouldn't be perfect. Um, so please keep that in mind. Headliner looks good. I don't see anything hanging down. It's got the carpeted headliner. Um, the motorhome, I believe, is in perfect condition to use right now. Um, like I said, we just drove it 600 miles here. My guy said it hit the road like a like it's supposed to with no problems there. It's got good tires on it. Generator fires up, runs everything, and that dash air being cold is pretty amazing. But guys, $12,900 haggle free no matter how you pay for it. Now guys, keep in mind a 96 model, it's a uh, cash sale only or trade or both. Uh, there is, I don't have any financing, at least with my nationwide lenders, on a 96 model motorhome. You know, this thing is actually, even though it's 24 years old, it's actually priced a few thousand dollars under NADA. So, you know, you might be able to go to your local bank or credit union and do one of two things. You might be able to get a loan. Uh, some local banks will loan on a 96 model vehicle. Most of them won't. But yours may be one of the few that do. So you can go to the bank, get a loan, or get you a personal or signature loan for 
you know, ever how much you need to buy it, you know, and, and put money with it, of course. And uh, that is, if you can do that, that's what I would recommend. That way you don't have to get full coverage insurance on it because it won't, because you're borrowing the money on your signature and not using the RV as collateral. But anyway, guys, uh, nice motor home. You know, for 96, they don't really come much finer. I'll put a link below in the video description. Make sure you check it out on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. And um, they will uh, take you to uh, show you every. you know, you can see all the information that I have on it, pictures, the 360 photos, um, details, measurements, and much more. It's 35 and a half feet long, by the way, and it's um, eight and a half feet wide. Uh, and it's uh, got the crowned roof, so it's not a flat roof. So, guys, if you have any questions or are interested in it, you know, we are still open uh, for business. 706-965-7929 uh, is our phone number. And uh, you can email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. And check out some of the other retro RVs I have, guys. I had a 91 Southwind that, that I posted a video on a couple weeks ago if you want to look it up. Uh, had it sold right off the bat. Guy actually came here with his wife and this actually happens pretty commonly you know i have 150 plus used rvs and when him and his wife got here they loved the south wind but they decided you know what um let's see what we can get for a few thousand dollars extra and they started looking around and and winded up buying a 20 instead of a, a not that one i believe is a 10.9 instead of buying that 10.9 motor home they wind up buying a twenty five thousand dollar motor home and that happens pretty often so just because it says deposit on this video or says deposit on the website or, my, or when you call my guys tell you deposit does not always mean that it's going to be sold because a lot of people that you know most everybody buys on the internet now with this coronavirus going around so when they get here and they start looking everybody likes to look even if they've already left money on one don't be surprised if they upgrade it to something else like those, that couple did. They bought a really nice uh, uh, Fleetwood Terror that we had. So, um, that was a few years newer. But I've got something for everybody. You know, I've got motor homes starting as low as $69.95. Um, and pretty decent motor home for that. It's just older. I've got this one for $12.9. Got that South Wind for $10. Um, which also is, is a nice rig. So guys, you know, I've definitely got something for those of you who are not wanting to spend thirty, forty thousand dollars on a motor home. I've got options for you. Feel free to come out and look. Uh, Parkway RV Center, 5568 Battlefield Parkway, Ringgold, Georgia. Feel free to check us out online. I have jam-packed our website with as much details as I possibly can because I know so many people right now are buying sight unseen, and uh, we want to do everything we can to represent our motorhomes as accurately as possible. Uh, I mean, you may see stuff off where they had some hot stuff on that uh, center console and, and, and things like that. You know, that, that happens, you know, in the past 24 years. So come out and look at it. Check out the website listing, which will be in the link below, as well as the pictures. Obviously, check the video out. And I've tried to disclose everything that I see wrong with it. So. That way there's no surprises. Do I see everything? Of course not. I'm human. Um, but I'll do my best to accurately, you know, on these RVs, especially right now, to show you anything else that I see that's different. Or, you know, you might find a, an issue with it. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, nationwide delivery is available. We just ask that you reimburse us for the cost of getting it to you and get my driver back home and, of course, paying him. Again, 12.9 as is. We'll hook it up to the generator or hook it to shore power, let you look through it. And uh, you can be your own judge about if this is the one for you or not. But thank you for watching. And, uh, oh yeah, let's, let's check the freezer again here. Of course, it probably hasn't dropped too much. Look at that, guys. 55 degrees. So we dropped almost, what was that, 8 degrees in just a few minutes. Obviously, it's working. So, um... That's a good thing. So even if you're buying it as is, all right, you know the airs work, dash air works, you know it runs and drives great, and you know the refrigerator gets cold, and the lights work. So, I mean, really all the major stuff I've already showed you, at least most of them.
But if you got any questions at all, looks like it's got a, a electric and a, a, of course, propane water heater. If you got any questions, guys, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Sales at parkwayrvcenter.com is our email. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. And always call before coming to look to verify availability. Thank you again, and look forward to seeing you. Hey guys, Big Bo, and we're going to do a virtual test drive of this 96 Bounder you just watched the video on. I've got my camera assistant, Edwin, uh, holding the camera, and I'll give you his phone number as well. If you're interested in this Bounder, he knows it very well. Uh, 423, what's your number, Edwin? 314. 5556. 423-314-5556 and you can call him or text him about this RV and he's one of my salespeople here but let's take this 96 for a test drive and let's see how it does. Of course it's got the 460 V8 uh, which is a with the bank's power package which this thing's a it's a powerhouse and it's 35 and a half feet long so it's you know it's, it's not too bad to handle Backup camera works great, and the good thing about me driving it, you can hear any vibrations or anything like that. And we do have some blinds that are down for display, and they're going to rattle a little bit when we go down the road. But this way, I can tell you how the brakes feel, how the transmission shifts, and and um, might help you out here. So as soon as we get a clear spot out here, we'll definitely uh, go down the parkway. Air is ice cold on this thing too, which kind of makes it very new. So far, tires are nice and, nice and smooth. It's got pretty late model Firestones on there, so. have some torque to it I can tell but this is a this is a pretty heavy motor home going up this steep hill. And that bank's power exhaust gives it kind of a meaty sounding exhaust. It sounds awesome. on too with the roof air so this is what it's going to sound like driving down the road with the generator on. No jumping on the dash, no jumping on the steering wheel, transmission, uh, shifting brake.
just like a 96 bounder is supposed to, guys. So brakes feel great. Good, solid, heavy motor home doesn't even get blown around that much by trucks. So. But anyway, guys, if you're interested in this bounder, give us a call. 706-965-7929 or give Edwin a call or a text at 423-314-5556 and he'll be glad to help you out answer any questions you have but thank you for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia